Hello, your wish is my command. Today I'm going to do what a number of you have asked me to do, which is you've been saying that you love the makeup that I'm wearing and would I do a get ready with me. So that's it. Today is get ready with me. And I'm going to put, I, I think I've got, the, I think I remember the makeup that I was wearing where you all, it was a number of times and you were saying, I love your complexion. I love the way, you know, the way your makeup looks. I love this and that. So I'm going to do this and that and complexion, etc. Now I want you to look at my face. Well, that's what you're seeing, but you know, I've got, I've got large pores. I say the large pores are from my father and the smooth skin is from my mother. So the part that looks really wonderful is my mother. The part that doesn't, I'm sorry to say, is my father. So you've got to know that I've got, so I've got large, large pores, I've got lots of wrinkles. And you know what? Look at this. Do you see that red? I think I must be allergic to maybe the eye drops. I'm, I'm not wearing the gel drops I'm wearing at night. And it's red around here too. So I'm not exactly sure what it is, but if it's, maybe I'll stop using, I'll stop using something. I don't know what, but I'll stop using it. Anyway, so I thought you'd like to see the magical transformation of makeup on me. So where do I start? I've already done all my skincare. You can see my face is all kind of glowy and stuff like that because I've got glowy stuff on. And so the makeup that I've been wearing, and I don't know if I've mentioned this before, this is the Estee, Estee Lauder, um, what's it called? Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum 45. And then with it, I've always used the Estee Lauder Aqua Brilliance Watery Glow Primer Base de Tint Hydration Eclat. So I, that's just what I've been wearing and you've been loving it. I wonder, so I've got a question. I wonder if it's the, if it's the color of the foundation you know that it's a light color. It's, you know, I, I used to only, I used to want to look like I had a tan and I didn't want to have a light color foundation. I just wanted to have, you know, kind of a, a tan looking foundation. But um, since I've been wearing this light one, I really like the looks of the light uh, foundation on my skin. And it's not that the, it's not that it doesn't, that it isn't the right color, but it's, it's matching, it kind of matches my neck. And see, you know, I'm, I'm light. Um, my husband used to call me, well, he does, it wasn't used to, he still calls it fish belly white, but that's the color of my skin. Um, that's like my mother. My mother had gorgeous skin, um, not a mark on it. Okay, so I've got my primer on and I'm gonna let it dry just for a minute and I'll tell you a funny story. I was talking to my sister this morning and I was telling her that I was going to do a, um, a YouTube video today on, um, on putting on makeup and how different I look before makeup and after makeup. And she was saying that uh, she recently had an insurance, uh, her insurance broker come to her house and she said, excuse me, uh, and she didn't have any makeup on. And she said, excuse me, uh, I need to go put on makeup. So she leaves him in, I don't know where, but anyway, she leaves him. She goes, puts on makeup, comes back, and he introduces himself to her again because he didn't recognize her. That's the same with me. It's like two different people. Even my husband has noticed it. And he'll say, woo, you clean up well, Sandy. Okay, so now I'm putting on, um, the, this is the Hydra Rescue. And I always, now, I just know, I wonder if I can get through this without making, you know, this is liquidy. And so I usually make a mess all over myself. I mean, I can't eat breakfast without making a mess. So, and I love using this BK Beauty uh, brush. Do I remember the number of it? No, but I'm going to, um, I'll put it on the, the first comment below and in the show more. So you can see, I love it. So I'm, I've been using this BK Beauty. And you can see, you know, guys, I've got so many scars. You can see them over here, here. I mean, I really have a lot of scars. Um, and I discovered 
that I don't want a foundation that's just like a tinted moisturizer. I need more than that. I think, and, I, it, and it's because my skin isn't great, or I don't consider it great, um, because I've got so many lines. You know, I had surgery here, and it all opened up, and this is, I guess, from sleeping on my right-hand side, um, but I've got lots of lines. You get to 83 and you got lines. Although Sandra Hart is 85, I don't think she has a line on her face. She looks gorgeous. Um, okay. So here's the makeup. And then, so th I think it's the color of this. You notice how light it is? Um, as I say, I used to not like having light skin. But I think the light skin makes the, the, my other features stand out more. What are my other features? Maybe my eyes, lips. I think it, it looks better with, um, with a lighter uh, color. Now see how, look at how it's really pretty moisturized, isn't it? It's really shiny. I'm gonna have to do something about that, but I don't think I'll do it now. So the first thing I do, what do you do first when you put on makeup? The first thing I do is um, I put on eyeshadow. So I was showing you these, this Senna eyeshadow, and I got two of these. And see, one of them is kind of like blonde colors, and the other's, the other's kind of dark colors. And what, I guess it's the artist in me that loves mixing them up. Wait a second. I got this brush. Is this the one? No. I also told you that I fell madly in love with Rosemarie Swift RMS makeup. Um, and I, I love the way she talks and I love the way she's got gray hair. And so she started RMS. I think she was bought out, but um, as I've said before, I'd probably buy the Brooklyn Bridge from her. But so she talks about this brush, you know, when you put on um, eyebrows. And I love it because, why do I love it? Because I kind of, I mean, I have to look in the mirror. Well, I look, I'll look in this, okay? <gasps> oh, things are rolling off the the table. So this, let me put this on first. So this is a wide, flat, fl kind of a wide, flat brush. And somehow I like it better than the, um, that slanted shape brush that we've all been using for forever. You know, this kind of brush. Can you see that? So I love this wide flat. I find it easier to shape my brows with it. And so I'm mixing the dark color with the light. And does that mean I have different color brows every time I do my brows? Yes. But I don't mind it. Who can remember what our brows look like? What color? So that's this is the way I do my brows. Um, and I don't take... An ex you know, an enormous amount of time doing it. Um, but I don't know why. I just like doing it with this brush better than, and see this, this eyebrow doesn't look exactly like the other, but who cares? Okay, I think that's okay. And then I brush it with this side and And then I use a, where'd it go to? Here it is. Which one is this? This is from, uh, I think this was the one I used. I think it's Anastasia. And it's, and then I color the, the brows, you know, the brow hair. You know, by the way, while you're doing this and putting on makeup, this is a good time to um, see if you've got any errant hairs. So it's usually when I'm putting on makeup that I'll see, oh, is there anything here, here, here? Right now there isn't, so I'm okay. Now, I, right now my face looks too shiny for me. So what I've been, um, this, is, this powder is Beauty Pie, and um, I've just got it, I think this is Sephora. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put some translucent powder around the, it's just too shiny. And you know, when things are shiny, it shows off more of your bumps. It's called raking light. 
and it just shows where your 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 bumps and lines are so I'm just going to put some of and I don't usually use powder there's supposed to be a wonderful powder I'll look into it by Givenchy I don't know people say it just changes their lives I don't know but I'll try it okay so I'm putting powder on so I wonder what's making this so shiny maybe I oh you know what I've been putting on a new uh, moisturizer and maybe that's what's doing it I love the way it feels but maybe it's not great for makeup huh okay because I don't like looking like um, a shining disco ball I don't like the look okay and then what do I do uh, oh I know what I do so I put the I put this is um, uh, L'Oreal it's a vol vol voluminous voluminous um, um, pre what do you primer for my eyelashes so that they'll be longer so this is the L'Oreal now funny Lancome has one but um, and it's made by the same people but I don't like it as much but this one by L'Oreal I really like um, I guess you could just put on an extra layer of mascara but I like this um, uh, voluminous by L'Oreal what do I do then then I usually wait a second then I usually do so I have this makeup by Mario Bronzer the name is crazy where oh here are my glasses wait till you see the name of this so this is soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer in medium um, so this I've been using this as kind of a bronzer so I just put it on the high parts of my cheeks so it's I've got a little bit it's got a little bit of color not much not much a little bit of color and so what the, what I find this does is it makes my um, uh, uh, blush a little bit more stronger this is um, Bobbi Brown's lip balm so I put this on you know usually when I start putting on my makeup it feels so good my lips get so dry do yours and I mean I use lip balm every night uh, but my lips get dry my eyes get dry my skin gets dry I get dry okay so mm, that feels good on my um, on my lips okay and then what do I do so something I'm I something that I, I feel very strongly about is that I think at our age we need to lighten up our um, our eyelids I was telling you about these caviar sticks that I love and I find I think that my eyes have sunk in that I think they used to be more out but I guess as you age they sunk sink in oh wait I'm looking at look at what I've got here so I, this is what I also use this is the Bobbi Brown I think this is light bisque so I, I try and change the color of it this peach kind of kind of uh, negates the purple under my eyes is it a little bit better I try and then you know because of the redness here I've got this uh, clay de peau um, concealer let's try that so I'm putting the clay de peau so since this is usually the way I put on makeup all the time I figure that this is what I did when I put on what you know all the times you said your makeup looks so good so I put this you know right in here where it's dark so that's where I put this clay de peau okay see how that brightens it up underneath here also I haven't found have I found the I don't know if I have the answer for concealers yet maybe because I usually don't wear them I know everybody else does um, and I'm gonna put some here where it's red 
you know, it's hard for you to see it, but it has been red. Okay. Um, God, my face is oily or shiny. Maybe I can't use that. Maybe I can't use that moisturizer when I, when I shoot, you know, maybe it's too, it's just too shiny when, when I've got lights on me. Um, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to put another layer of uh, powder on me. It's just too, too shiny. It look kind of messy. That's much better. Okay. Oh, uh, did you know that this glass look is going out? That, you know, the, the Asian, uh, you know, Korean glass look is going out and a soft matte look is coming in. I'm, you remember you heard it here first, right? Um, okay, so that's my, uh, a little bit, some powder. What do I do next? I do, oh, so my eyes. So this is what I, of all, I went out to dinner the other night with a friend of mine. She wanted me to do her makeup. And I, you know, I'm really not a makeup artist. And, um, but I realized that what she needs, and I bet she isn't watching this, so she won't know who I'm talking about, is lightness around her eyes. You know, everybody's talking about smoky eyes. I don't think it works. It doesn't work on me. Maybe somebody else, but my eyes are just too, what is the word? Too inset? Yeah, for, for, um, for it to work on me. So what I, I've been loving working with these um, caviar sticks. So I just go like that. And wait a second. Wait, so I cover this. Look. So it's still light. See all that light? So you all think it's my mobile lid, mobile lid. Wait a second. It's my mobile lid that goes way back, but it isn't. But see how that, that lightens up my eyes? I need all the light I can get. So th I put this on. This one's um, Vanilla Kiss. I've got it memorized. And this one is Plum. Why did I take Plum instead of Au Naturel? Um, well, you know what? I'm going to take Plum and do it lightly. Okay. Look at that. That's what I like about these, that you can really, you can really, wait a second. You can really work with them. So you can see how lightly I'm putting that on. You wouldn't even know that I was really wearing, would you? See, it looks great. It just, it just defines the eyes enough, not too much, just enough. And then I'm going to use the same color plum as I say, I'm almost every day I wear Au Naturel, and today I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to use this as an eyeliner, and I let it dry a little before I muck around with it so that so it lines my eyes, but it's not too um, it's not too strong. I wait a second. So I don't like it to be too strong and too, um, too definitive of a line. So this is by Sephora, and it's a, it's it's a gel pen pencil, and I use it underneath the the waterline underneath here, and I I use the the bronze because it's much lighter. You know, instead of black, uh, I I find this is a much lighter color, and it does the job without. It does the job without being so strong, you know. That when it's when it's too too um, uh, when it's too dark, it, you look like you've just got two lines with an eye in the in the middle. So I don't like that. I like the um, uh, with this bronze. And you know who told me about this is Tamara Tamara Tamara, 
And so she told me about this. I'll put her, her name down below. Um, let's see what else. Oh, so then uh, I, uh, mascara. So I've been, I think I need some new mas mascara. And in fact, I bought some new mascara, but I wanted to use the mascara I've been using in the, the, you know, in the videos that you've liked. So this one is by City Beauty. And I, you know, I think I got it at two for one. I've been very happy with it. So remember, I'm putting it on top of the vol voluminous, the voluminous um, eye, eye, eye lash primer. Okay. And I just close my eyes on it. And I go all around. I'd be curious, what's your favorite mascara? Because I, don't you think we all have oh, favorite mascaras? So I'm, um, I'm going to try out some, some new ones. And I don't think it has to be expensive at all. As I say, I, I bought this on sale, two for one. I don't put mascara on the lower eye, eyelashes because I find, I don't know why, but they kind of, um, they smudge on me. So I don't put them there. You know, let the mascara dry on your skin uh, before you try to remove it because it'll dry and it's easy to take off. This is, um, what's it called? This is called, uh, this is the S Selena Gomez rare beauty so this is a cream so i'm going to put and i take two fingers and i kind of dot the excess off and i just put it well there you can't even see it okay so i'm not going to dot the excess off i'm going to leave the excess on and i put it kind of high now see how i'm not smiling because i don't want to get see so i can get the um um i can get the blush all, I said, I don't want to get the blush on top of the lines. I want to get the blush in the lines. But I've got lots of, see, I've got lots of lines. Okay, so I've just put on, this is the, the Rare Beauty. And then I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put uh, powdered, powdered, powdered. You know, I'm, I'm, I must apologize for these brushes being so dirty. Um, I'm the only one who uses them, but they need to be washed. I've been busy lately, and but you know, I think I'm going to make a video about washing brushes because they need it badly. Um, so this again is um, Makeup Bar Mario, and I'm just going to lightly, and I'm even going to put it, you know, they say, well, you don't put it on the apples of your cheeks. You know that there are styles of where you put blush on? that at one point it was always here, and one point it was up there, and one point, which is, you know, that's cockamamie. Put it where you like and put it, so I, I love this color. You know, something else that I've discovered about myself, which is, I think it's the artist in me that loves color, so that I, I enjoy being able to see the, the blush. I guess it would be nice if it was just a whisper, but I like seeing color, so I'm looking at color. And I get it. I get a kick out of it. So this is the uh, makeup by Mario, and this is powder blush. And what is the color? What is the color? Let's see. Creamy peach. I told you I'm into peach. And then, oh, uh, mascara. So I'm going to put another. So as I say, this is as much as I can remember. This is exactly what I've been putting on, and you're telling me that you love my makeup and do a get ready with me, which I'm happy to do. It's just a matter of remembering. So I would love to know everybody's favorite mascara. I'm almost ready. I'm almost ready. The next thing, wait a second. I've got, so I've got a question. You know, I've got these red fingernails. Do you think I should be wearing coral f fingernails to match my lipstick and blush? Or do you think red is okay? I've been, this has been a big dilemma that I've been worrying about. Um, I don't know which is better. What do you think? I'd, I'd appreciate some input on that. 
or maybe I should just buy some orange, some orange uh, nail polish. What do you think? Okay, lipstick. Now, I've got, you know, this one that I just bought. I've got a darker one. I wonder if that's what I've been wearing on these. I think I have, but I do like this lighter. Can I, so I've got this darker one, but it's not really dark, but I think I've been wearing that on the, on the videos. And I've got this lighter one, which I, people have, con you know what? I'm going to wear this. Uh, this is at Tom Ford and it's called Twist of Fate and it's number 31. And I love it because it's, um, it's kind of bright and perky. And then there's this pencil and the pencil is by Nicole Johnson. You know, she's got um, a YouTube channel and I'm just going to kind of cut her. I'm going to cover my lips because, uh, you know, when the lipstick wears off, I hate when it looks like just a line. Yeah. But I know I need a little bit of definition. So many times I just do it on the bottom and then look, I mean, you'd, you'd think that I don't even have lips or, well, okay. I guess I'm making them. I kind of do a crisscross and then just kind of fill in. You know, Candace Seema of, of Life in My 70s, she just uses a lip pencil and you could. You could use a lip pencil and gloss over it and you'd be done. I like putting more color on, but I could do it this way. But I think it, I think I need more, um, more jazz on my face. I think that, uh, I need all the help I can get. Okay. So this is the, the Tom Ford and There. Now, I know that people have said, how do you keep the lipstick off of your teeth? You go like this. And it's on my, it's on my finger, it's not on my teeth. So this is it, this is the look. Th these are the products that I've been wearing um, in the last, um, I don't know how many, four or so, uh, for so videos. Wait, I didn't do something. And that's this. So I'm, I'm blending. I forget to blend. You know that guys? I forget to blend. Um, that's it. What do you think? Do I look like, oh, I've got to put up a picture of me without makeup and then with makeup because I think it's like night and day. So this is with makeup and I'll show you without makeup also. And so if you have any questions, let me know. And it's fun, been fun being with you. Oh, I keep on forgetting. Remember to, remember to um, follow and remember to hit the, the uh, thumbs up sign. And I think that's enough, right? Okay. Enjoy. Bye-bye.